Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we're playing a bit more Space Engineers and what I thought I'd show you today is how to make some automatically closing and opening doors. Um, what we're going to be using today is the sensors. So I'm going to show you how to set one of these up and configure it. So at the moment I have a sensor up here on the top of the door but what I want to do is I want to grind down through this block here and I want to put it below the door and then put a block above it so that you can't see it. So if we just walk up to this door, you can see that it's automatically closing. If we turn around, then it closes. So if we move forward, this door opens, and we move back, and it closes again. So we'll just walk through. Okay, now, one of the first things you want to do is go into the control panel. Let's go into I menu, and we show, go to info, and then select show sensors field of range. So we select that, and now we still can't see anything. Alright, so then what we need to do next is go here to the sensor, and we need to show on HUD, we need to turn this on. And now we can see the range of this sensor. So if we put our character in this red part, and it goes green, and it activates the sensor. Okay, now, so what we're going to do here is we're grind this down. Well, first, before we do that, I'm going to copy the name of this sensor because it'll make us make it easier for us to find it in the control panel, especially if we have a lot of doors. So, <coughs> grind down this block. We will place another block. Go back to our sensor put our sensor down. Now this is quite interesting and this is one of the things I wanted to point out with sensors. Now you see how it's red and it won't let us place the sensor but if we move it back up a block, oh wait no, we don't have any materials for the sensor. Uh, wait, yeah we do. Um, <coughs> so if we try and place the sensor there, ah yes, of course, we can't. And the reason why we can't is because you see this tiny little bit of voxel here. If there is any voxel in the range of the sensor, then it won't let you place it. So what we need to do is clear out this voxel. So we'll get rid of that. Um, I think that looks pretty good. All right, so let's try and add the sensor again. Uh, eight, seven. Ah, there's still another little bit of voxel there. Crikey. Let's try and place the sensor again. There we go. Now, um, one thing I should point out is if you have a look at the sensor here, you can see that little bar on the bottom. So that bar needs to be on the bottom to, you know, make this thing the right way around. So when you go into the control panel of the sensor, up is up and down is down. All right, so <coughs> let's weld up the sensor. Now, <coughs> now that we have the sensor placed, we'll go into the control panel, we will give it a name, and then what we'll do is we'll start setting up the extents of this sensor. Now, because it's sitting in the middle of one large grid block, a large grid block is 2.5 meters wide, uh, 2.5 by 2.5 by 2.5. So what we want to do here is we want to set the left extent to 1.25 meters, we set the right extent to the exact same. And then also what we want to do is we want to set the bottom extent, which is downwards from the sensor, to 0 0.1. We don't have to, but... And then what we also want to do is set this top extent to about 6.5 metres. So let's just exit out of here and turn our jetpack on. And now you can see it is roughly one block above. Perfect. Now, the thing is, the sensor extends too far back, so this door being an airlock, what I want this door to do is I want this door to fully close before the other one will open. So, in order to do that, what we need to do is go back down to the sensor, lock onto the ground, we want to set the back extent to about 2.2 meters. 
and the front extent I just want to set that to one block so 2.5 meters now this the front extent you can set this however you like um, but for me I like to set it like this all right so now we can see that the sensor is not quite reaching the edge of the door but it kind of is so we don't, haven't really left ourselves much room so let's adjust this again take this down to around <coughs> excuse me 1.9 meters beautiful I think that's pretty good so that means we can stand in that little space there and the door will close behind us right <coughs> so now comes to the part where we actually set up this sensor to automatically open that door when it's activated so what we want to do is go in here, so we've got the main base door out of sensor. So I've already named these doors obviously. Main base door outer. So what we want to do is select the sensor, go to setup actions, then we want to find our main base door outer. So we'll go open and closed. So this means that uh, when the sensor detects you, it will open, and when it doesn't detect you, it will close. So we exit out of the control panel, and we go back, and the door closes. We go forward, and it opens this again. And then if we go slightly back a bit, the door will close behind us, and then this door will open. Now. This being an airlock, um, the doors, I've given them a deliberate gap in the middle so that they don't both open um, at one time. Although when you're traveling through through multiple airlocked spaces like say this one here, what you want to set it for is um, probably 2.5 meters rear of the sensor so that as you're walking through it opens quite quickly. So I'll just demonstrate that here. So we walk through kind of opens and closes behind us. Awesome. Energy low. Well, thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was helpful for you.